In this video, you will learn how to create a CRUD application with Laravel 12. CRUD is an acronym of Create, Read, Update, and Delete. That means we learn about basic add, resting, edit, delete operations using Laravel. Let's get started. Open your terminal. Go in the directory where you are going to install your app. From it, going to be desktop. Run Laravel new. Add the name of your project. Choose non Laravel start kit. Choose database your application will use. For me, is SQLite. Yes, run npm. Our Laravel application has been created. Ray, go ahead and cd into our app. And then run composer run dev. Open this URL right here in our browser. And welcome to our default Laravel page. When we visit, for example, slash product path, we are redirected to the not found page. But we need to be redirected to the product index page. To do that, we need the root, controller, and the view. So let's first open our project in VS Code Editor. Right? Navigate to the root folder in web.php file. Over here, define root. Handle a get request to slash product. Put a function which will return the index view from product folder. We haven't created this index view and this product folder. So we'll go on resource on view, create a folder called products, and then create a file index.bread.php. with title product list. Now when we visit this product slash path, you can see the index product page. Let's work on adding the design template on this index product page. So let's first go back on VS Code project, on resources, views directory, create a folder called layouts. In this folder, add a file called base.bread.php. This file will contain all common structure of all views in this project. So let's continue and go in welcome.bread.php. Copy all this and pass it into base.bread.php file. Remove all this content of this body tag. And then add a Laravel helper called at yield with name content. Remove also this here. Now we're ready to go in products in index.bread.php file using at extend layouts.base and then call the session content. Move this title here, right? Now when we load this URL, you can see that the design changed. And for example, if I change the title, we can see the live how to reload work, which is better. Now let's work around on adding the design on this product index page. So for that, I have already created the template for the design. You can find that in this video description. For me, the design templates are in my desktop directory. I'm going to place this template on my crude app project in public folder. Let's create a folder called templates and go in a template design folder. Copy all the content and paste it into public template directory. I do that for needs of this video. You can put it where you want. Now, when you go in VS Code project on public, on a template, on CSS folder, open this crude.css file, copy all the content and go on resource 
on CSS into the app.css file, remove all the content and paste your style here, right? Go back on public, on template, include.html file, copy this main tag, go on resource, on views, on layout, in base.bread.php file, paste it here, and then close this main tag. And then we'll go back on public, on template, include.html file, copy this, and go on resources, on view, on product, in index.bread.php file, paste it here. Finally, red fix the image directory because it was changed. So go back to the index file over here and change this directory to slash template slash images slash no image.png. Right? Now let's go in web.php file on root directory. Right now, we're just loading the view directory from index, but we want to do this slash product and we want to go to the product controller at methods called index and then add the name of this root called products.index. We need import this controller from controller directory but we haven't created this controller. We'll go in terminal and run php artisan merk controller and add the name of our controller called product controller. The product controller is created. Let's go back to web.php file, import product controller from app http controllers directory. Now let's create these index methods in product controller. Over here, create a method called index. which will run a view called products.index. All right, let's stay here on this video. We just finished to create our project and add design of our project. We will continue in next video by fetching all data from database, add a stretch which will return a specific product and add a pagination which will help us to navigate through different pages. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give a like if you did and subscribe for more.